everyone, and welcome to the first episode ever of SMD Podcast, the show that knows given the Dark Crusader nipples was the worst idea ever. They be putting udders on the bat suit. Holy crap. You gotta be kidding me. So, some people want to know the meaning of life, but I want to know what Dylan thinks about the Batman v Superman Comic Con trailer. Yo, for real though, I'm gonna be totally serious on this one. I was not interested whatsoever in the Batman vs. Superman. Are you serious? I'm very serious because I was over there like Captain America for the win and okay. let's see what Marvel was doing. Not okay. that I really like one better than the other. Okay. But I thought Man of Steel was decent just as a sci fi film. Like if you took Superman out uh-huh. of Man of Steel and you just had it about like an alien and an invasion, mm-hmm. like I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe see, it's, a, do, maybe it's a decent sci fi film. Yeah, I do have to agree with that. Man but, of Steel wasn't. My favorite movie, and I'm mm-hmm. kind of a, a DC kind of guy. And Man of Steel wasn't wasn't really the movie that I was expecting from. I don't DC think comics. anybody saw like the Superman film that they wanted to see. Yeah, they did Superman Returns, Brian Singer's film back in like 2006. Yeah, and everybody said it was too slow. It was too much like Christopher Reeve's films, where we wanted some more action, we wanted mm-hmm. some more something, because it was a direct later down the line sequel to like Richard Donner's second Superman Mm -hmm. film but then they said oh forget that Mm -hmm. and then when Man of Steel came out you know Zack Snyder gave them action he gave them fancy stuff and then they said well we don't like this either Mm -hmm. but if you look Steven on Rotten Tomatoes just as a just as a little focal point Superman Returns has a better score on there than Man of Steel does I swear a better job as Superman than Henry Cavill. No, look at look at <laughs> look at that. But even that, Henry Cavill, I think like because if you watch like the new Man from Uncle trailer mm-hmm. and whatnot, and like even they give him a little bit more beard than they allow him as Superman. Yeah. They give him a Disney look yeah. when he's Superman <laughs> that he needs to be like baby face. Yeah, but. I think that a lot of times he's better, like, acting not Superman. Like, Henry Cavill in other mm-hmm. roles is actually better than Superman. Mm-hmm. But then, like, when I watched the trailer, my mind really changed. As I saw that they were really taking Batman seriously. Mm-hmm. They were bringing him back to some, some deep roots, trying to bring more of a comic image on screen while still trying to keep him, you know, grounded in reality, yeah. which is my, like, yeah. most hated term when it comes mm-hmm. to new films. Yeah, but they're doing an excellent job with it, to be mm-hmm. honest. Batman, I'm a huge fan of Batman. You know this. Who isn't? <laughs> I'm a huge <laughs> Batman fan, and just putting Ben Affleck in the mix wasn't the greatest idea until I actually watched the trailer. I watched the trailer, mm-hmm. and the, even the first trailer, before even... Um, Comic Con released mm. the the official three minute and forty seconds. I mean, I think we can Comic-Con. all agree that Ben Affleck's career is on the rise. Oh yeah, ever yeah, ever yeah. since he really started putting his own into like producing and directing his own films. Ever since like you know the town mm-hmm. back in like twenty ten, yeah. it really everyone was like, well, this is so far from like his Jiggly or whatever that movie definitely, is, like definitely. Days with J Lo. And then they're like, okay, well, let's throw him some mad respect. Mm-hmm. But in all honesty, I think this is like he is what the savior of these films you know they needed the dark knight no for real because i don't think that a man of steel 2 movie would have really flown off the ground as well without him in it true true this is like i'm since since clerks since clerk kevin smith did clerks Mm. and after that movie i started seeing ben affleck in more clerks one or two you're talking about one black and white one well i'm talking about one when kevin smith actually started as clerk yeah and then kevin smith gave birth technically to ben affleck because if it wasn't for kevin smith ben affleck wouldn't be ben affleck if you actually think about it yeah um after that after watching ben affleck and like jersey girl yeah um, clerks two things like that I kind of saw Ben Affleck evolve in so many different ways, from being an actor to being a complete director. Now, I mean, um, the that's, town, Argo, that's why, like, just... even my brother, like his his like favorite film will be The Town. And I said, The Town is done so nicely because it's the same generic story mm-hmm. of the guy who's doing. I'm doing one last job, and then yeah. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm packing up my shit. I'll see you in Florida. You know. I'm like, that's, but he does it in such a way that he hits every bump the right way. He mm-hmm. gives you a little bit of salt in it. Like, he gives you something to chew on. Mm-hmm. And the film just visually looks good, too. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then you're like, okay. And then you watched him fly by with Argo, and mm-hmm. it was an award winner, mm-hmm. and it was good. And I said, it had a lot of tension. It was a nice film. It had a supporting cast. 
and you're like, well, now he's starting, you know, he's getting on a Pixar winning streak here. Yeah, but this, one. I feel like, really will solidify him for the mm -hmm. future. That even if he doesn't go on to direct even more, being in this role mm -hmm. and, you know, settling into a franchise will will definitely help him. Yeah, definitely. And, I'm, and when I first heard about Zack Snyder actually creating this movie... And the like, the at, like after Man of Steel. Yeah, after Man yeah. of Steel, when he just, when he actually announced, I'm making Batman vs Superman. The money movie. was good for Man of oh, Steel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the definitely. reviews weren't as good. Yeah, but, but there was the money. But the money, was great. the money was good, especially yeah. because everybody is doing a large premium format mm -hmm. tickets now. Everyone's selling the IMAX. They're selling their own version mm -hmm. of a large theater. So the thing is that you have to understand yeah. that as they are Marvel fans, they are DC fans. And DC fans were just waiting for somebody. They were thirsty. What? They were they thirsty. were just waiting on that kick in the nuts to Marvel. And Man of Steel was the closest thing they can get. That's why Man of Steel made I mean, good money to be able to make Batman vs Superman, mm -hmm. but uh, but not enough to break records. I mean, Bat the all of Christopher Nolan stuff will always be like good in my book, and I think Definitely. I think now. You get like the haters to crawl out of the holes, mm -hmm. and they start poking holes in like the Dark Knight, and they say, "Well, this doesn't make sense. This is flawed." And the and the Rises was a complete crap show, and mm -hmm. and Batman Begins, you might as well just skip. And yeah. I don't like that because when you really go back and look at it, it stands on its own, and I'm gonna put it in its box and away from anything new they're doing. Mm -hmm. But then they tried to do like you know Green Lantern, mm -hmm. which was its own kind of mess in a way. And yeah. even if I really didn't know him. Because I really don't know the Green Lantern Corps and things that well. Yeah. You know, I'm not familiar with that side. I still didn't like the movie. But I think it was a good idea, whether or not Man of Steel was mm -hmm. that great or not, whatever you think about it, to start yeah. with the poster child mm -hmm. of DC Comics, yeah. Superman, and then layer it after that. Yeah, because definitely, if you, if you see it this way, DC is Superman. If, 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 even if you're a Batman fan like mm -hmm. I am. You have to understand that Superman is the like same like year if we had to put DC. someone like as exactly. as the poster child forefront you know yes. logo it has you to would be, be yeah I mean same Superman. thing if you were tr well here's that what would you pick if it was Marvel like oh, who crap. who would be see, the that's, poster that's, child see, would you throw crazy. like Spider Man up there just because of so. his appeal or I don't think so that's a tough I, that that's hard as hell but. The thing is that back into the subject of um, Batman. If you when when I heard that Zack Snyder was actually going to go ahead and make the movie, mm. and I heard that he was taking stories from Dark Knight Returns, which is one of my favorite movies of mm. Batman, hands down. The look, the feel the, of it. Uh, th it that Dark movie Knight was Returns, just yeah. insane. Um, and a lot of people actually miss when whenever I actually say Dark Knight, which I want to go ahead and put that out there. Whenever I say Dark Knight, I'm not talking about Christopher Nolan. Yeah, you're not talking trilogy. about the but the O A. I'm, I'm talking yeah. about Dark Knight Returns, the animated movie. The yeah. Animated movie in which who who's Batman, who did that comic book run? That was uh, it was Frank Miller. Frank, Frank Miller, Miller yeah. was the one who uh, yeah. created um, who actually put out Batman into what we know now. Yeah, he really and solidified that. Definitely, and, definitely. Because like, before it was like this, you, you know? this this Batman. Uh, Bruce Wayne, mm -hmm. Playboy, uh, he really Ape, just which, like gave it a, yeah, a, a he, dark he gave spin, it that and he said exactly. like, "This is what I think exactly. it's supposed to be." I remember that because you look at the cover for that, and it's even like mm -hmm. him silhouetted against the dark sky yes. and the lightning bolt. Like yeah, it has a very, it has a serious kind of tone it's to beautiful. it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But and they do borrow that. Like they make Ben Affleck look like a big fridge mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. arms, and they give him like a very. Uh, you know, brooding manner about mm -hmm. him, yeah. And I and I noticed in the when when they before the the trailer even came out, they started doing um, like there was pictures all over the place, just showing how the suit was gonna look mm -hmm. um, for Batman and Superman. And I couldn't believe the amount of detail they went into the yeah, suit. Yeah, because you had like like just recalling now that picture of. You know, Batman standing right next. It was all black and white. Yeah, and you standing can still next see to his Batmobile. How good there was, was a lot of Batman. detail. Like if you were, you know, searching in on like his suit mm -hmm. itself, you saw that the Batman symbol was a wide, fat mm -hmm. kind of bat thing. Like you like know, the Dark Returns, like the yeah. Dark Knight Returns. His cowl had short ears, but it was wrapped around his head like that, and he looked like it was almost like a Kevlar kind of suit. There mm -hmm. was nothing rubber or really silicone. Yeah. Too much about it, and his cape. 
that was one of the things actually I was looking at and hearing just people poking holes in Nolan's trilogy. They were talking about the Sioux. And a lot of them agreed that the suit was a brilliant thing. It was like a motorcycle SWAT gear, and mm-hmm. the pieces moved. And when he could move his neck, it was a revolution in yeah. in the time of you know Batman films. But they talked about the cape being lackluster. That it was a different kind of material, like a velvet. It mm-hmm. had a different sort of shade. Yeah. And this one, when you looked at it, you just said, "This is primo." Mm-hmm. It's kind of a grayish, dullish black color for the rest of his thing, and then his cape just it just flows. Yeah. Like definitely. they they really focus their time on making him beautiful. Yeah. This suit. There's a lot of there's a lot of things here that I've listened about this um, that I've heard about this um, suit is the fact that they make fun of this suit because it looks like it has duct tape on it. The it's texture. That texture. It's funny. it's funny how I like I'm like a, I'm a really big fan of the suit. But it's so funny just mm. hearing these comments. Because it's there. not it's not like a flat mat thing. Yeah. Because Nolan's it was like that. It was it was all these chinks so like a, a coat of armor, yeah. really, like a night suit, mm-hmm. but it was like a flat black color, like mm-hmm. cause they show that in the movie he goes by with like spray paint, he's like tsh, tsh, tsh. Yeah. <laughs> but this one, when you look at it, it does look like it's it's like a weave together pattern. Yeah, yeah. But I think. I mean, what do you expect when, when they, well. they they did the um, the suit for Superman and they yeah. put so many details? And they I had, actually they blamed, had like the hexagon and crap and in I there. And I blame fucking Spider Man. <laughs> like I blame Spider Man in the in the Amazing Spider Man movie because that mm-hmm. suit that actually does after, look after a lot that like movie that, yeah. every suit has had so many details mm-hmm. and I love it. I love it. Superman, Man of Steel. The two was amazing, and now even in the trailer, it's slightly different. I think I, I think around his, around his waist, because there was that big hullabaloo about whether or not they give him the red spandex like underwear, yeah. and they were like, "What? Well, he doesn't have it. Like this isn't Superman. Like this is terrible." But they, they instead they <laughs> give him he have they underwear? give him the weird like <laughs> side things that come in, so yeah. it looks like half a belt. So what you're saying is technically that the suit, the Superman suit. The way that it's working, like the belt, it actually looks like, like the like, flash suit. Like the waist. Like the yeah. little the little um lightning bolt that he has on the mm-hmm. sides that actually it looks like it's gonna connect, but it doesn't really. That's what you're saying? Yeah, it looks a little bit like that. Like it's not making a utility belt or anything like, really like that. Notice. And he doesn't have like the shorts for it. But it does, yeah, in in a way, mm-hmm. it does kind of remind me of like that flash suit like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was oh. interesting. It looked like that. I oh. mean, it, it's 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 a new take to the suit. It's a new take to the movie. It's a new take for the story, even because not only we're getting Batman versus Batman and Superman, we're getting fucking Wonder Woman, Lex Luthor. We're getting Cyborg, Flash, Aquaman. We're All getting so many time. people. Yeah, I mean, the one we've movie. really seen visual evidence of is Gal Gadot's version of Wonder Woman. Who I I mean like I don't know that much about Wonder Woman I'm not gonna like safeguard it but like I think it looks fine to me you know oh yeah definitely she looks flawless in the in the movie look she looks flawless. she look flawless like she looked like she just came out of the out Beyonce out tri- the gym. video and shit so but but it looks it looks amazing the I way, really was yeah. that kind of guy that was like I'm I was really against it because mm-hmm. Wonder Woman has to have a like really thick body. And like Amazonian. And yes, exactly. Really Amazonian. Think, so but everybody just, thinks that way too. Huh. Uh, they get like this idea of what it should be based off what you kind of like to mm-hmm. see, but off like the years of mm-hmm. what everybody's shown. So it was kind of like one of those even more, I think, sometimes than Ben Affleck being Batman. Yeah. Because you were like, physically, I could see Ben Affleck rep Batman. Oh, yeah. I'm like, he just goes to the gym, he checks out, you know, mm-hmm. after a workout, and he looks like Batman, or at least Bruce Wayne. But then when you pick... When you pick Gal Gadot there, you were just like that chick from the Fast and Furious movie. Exactly. You're like exactly. with Han. Is Han gonna be in there too? Because exactly. that exactly. would that's, be dope. That's probably what the what a lot of people thought of Ben Affleck when they yep. when they said Ben Affleck's gonna be Batman. It's like fucking Daredevil they, is gonna be yeah. Batman. They like, were really? like, really? Like, is Matt Damon in it too? <laughs> Why don't we just throw everybody? Michael Cera's gonna play Shaft. <laughs> Like that's exactly what it looked like, because then, because then they were like, "Well, who's gonna be Green Lantern? Who's gonna be Cyborg? I don't yeah. know who the f that mm-hmm. guy is for and they, Cyborg." They're taking, 
think they're taking a bunch of stories and just mixing them all together it in looked, such a beautiful way. I just to hope be it's blended well because nobody wants to go Spider Man three on it. Like yeah. Sam Raimi, he's a good director. Mm-hmm. All his old stuff, his horror stuff, his camp stuff is very good. It was, I think, definitely the writer strike of mm-hmm. like two thousand seven that okay. messed that mess a lot of things up and help things, but. It was just they had to rush it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same beef happened with Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. The writer strike was like, we got to make this, you know, we got to go, we got to mess these things up. And yeah. So, I mean, it definitely kind of messed things up a lot for that. But, I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I, don't, think, I don't think they're taking, they're, they're doing the, you're the just same a, thing with You're just movie. afraid to get too many heroes, too many villains in the pot at once yes. and stir them. Because yes. then... Then you you know you get afraid that the tone the tone of the film isn't going to come across right. Not everybody's going to have enough screen time. But I think at this point people are pushing back that fear because of what Marvel has done with their films. Yeah. Like not only do their films like the Avengers include everybody, even all the other ones so far are starting to include more than one character inside of mm-hmm. their solo films. Yeah. So I think with a movie like this, you're like, wait a minute, like. Uh, Aquaman's gonna make an appearance, and you might see an appearance by Cyborg, but then like Wonder Woman, which to me Wonder Woman looks like she comes in like later in the film. Yeah, after well, that's the thing. That's done. that's the whole situation. The whole movie it's about from from what I understand from the trailer, because the whole synopsis of the movie hasn't come out. Mm-hmm. From what I understand from the trailer is Batman is mad because Superman destroyed Metropolis in the fight of Man of Steel. Right. Yeah. So Batman right. must have been there because that's not exactly. Gotham. That's what it shows. That's in the the yeah, that's he what must, it shows on the trailer. Must have been on like a vacation. Yeah, exactly. You know? So to a vacay, hey, two Yay. weeks off from work. Yeah, so, two weeks off from beating. Well, the way it looks <laughs> is that he's actually not Batman right now. Yeah, he looks, looks like, like he's, he's been spending. He's retired, mm-hmm. and because then we get a glimpse, like you said earlier, mm-hmm. of the what looks to be Robin's suit. Exactly. With the what would what I have written on it? With the ha 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 uh, jokes on you yeah. Batman. So situation. then people cuz they are that was one of the first things they said about the film and Batman was we got a seasoned Batman mm-hmm. start thinking he was a waffle fry. Yeah. <laughs> you getting the seasoned Batman who is he's already been at it for a while. You're getting a Dark Knight Rises Batman in the sense you know, his, yeah. knees, his knees are already blown out a little bit. Definitely. He's a little bit tired of this. But that's what the Dark Knight Returns comic yeah. was like, though. Mm-hmm. It was an older, disheveled, yeah, angry, was, bitter Batman. Exactly. I wasn't, I, to be honest, when, when they announced that Zack Snyder was going to do the movie based off Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns, yeah. I really thought that Batman was going to retire after. Now, after hearing that Ben Affleck signed how many like the contract was for like five, I, I think between that, five or seven that, Batman that movies. That kind of thing is just like a, a precautionary kind of thing because then it's just like Tony Stark. They say you know Rob Downey Jr. signed nine contracts that you'll appear in at least nine films. That doesn't mean he'll be yeah. in every film for forty minutes of screen time. Mm-hmm. He could just stop by and be like, What's "Batman's up? here." <laughs> it was the same thing just with you know just yeah. seeing a little glimpse of Suicide Squad, which mm-hmm. we'll get more to later in a in another one of these podcasts. Is that we saw Batman on the roof of Joker's car, yeah. and it's like, well. That has to be done on paper mm-hmm. right there and done in money yeah. wise that he'll be in it. But yeah. it is interesting to start Batman later in his life like mm-hmm. that instead of, you know, I know they don't want to do another origin. Yeah. I mean, in the trailer we saw a sneak yeah, peek. There's, of, there's, of, it looks like it's, it's a. It's a flashback because they're they're adding kid. they're adding the Jason Todd situation. They're adding um, yeah the, when when he's looking at the newspaper that I'm pretty sure that was a Joker saying you let your family yeah. die. I don't know Just, if you could tell handwriting between pen and graffiti. Exactly. I don't know if anyone's that good. <laughs> so it's but. just like it's it, they're adding so many things to it. Um, to be honest, I love the movie. Yeah. I love where it's going, but I'm scared for the movie. Why? Because. Why? Batman, it's a Batman vs Superman trailer. Yeah. From what we know, the whole time is Batman trying to stop this unhuman person. 
Yeah. That he doesn't know what he's going against to, but he's definitely going for it. Doesn't care. I just like He's it. fucking Ben Affleck. Like, I, he will fucking do it. I like it because it's like the Hulk and the Avengers films. He doesn't really have, like, a motive that's too thought out. He's just mad. Yeah, he's just... Like, <laughs> and that's what I like to see. Because when you watch Batman Begins, he was like, he was on a mission. Like, I need to redeem my honor. He yeah. was Zuko in that shit. <laughs> And then when you watch Dark Knight, he was like, oh my god, I made these mistakes. These people, I, they can't die because of me, Alfred. <laughs> and then in Rises, he said, I gotta come back because these dudes are tripping. Yeah. This one, it just looks like he's done. Mm -hmm. he, he punched out his card as Batman. He said, Alfred, let's go to the beach. I'm done. But then he said, son of a bitch. Look at this dude. Laser vision going through the buildings. And then he said, I gotta go back. I'm pissed because look at this. Like, this is serious. Like, he looked around like, is anybody doing anything yeah. about this? And he said, well, I guess it's gotta be me. So he kind of looks like, because the Jeremy Irons who plays uh, Alfred, I don't really know him. But he looked dope in the trailer. Do you, do you like, know who he is? No, no. Do you know that he, he? played. You know that he's the voice of Scar and Lion King. Oh. Oh yeah. For real? Yes. No, so I we loved have his Scar voice as yes. Lion Alfred. Benny I loved his voice. It had like that that diesel grit to it. Yes. But that's what he just starts saying from the get go. Is that like this is what turns you know good men bad, and yeah. this is what destroys men. His oh man, his yeah. voice was just and a, that's what makes me made the, not, the trailer. Uh, that's what makes me not afraid. That's what makes me say I'm gonna be in line first day because uh, we're getting a Batman in mm -hmm. a story that's like. You know, he's looking at Superman all red, white, and blue and saying, this isn't good. You mm -hmm. know, everybody else sees a savior. They see a god. They see an angel. And he but says, I, see, I see evil. Mm -hmm. He says, I see, you know, a guy who could be good, but I also see a guy who's capable, which of, we've already seen, mm -hmm. of destruction. Maybe not by his hand, but because of something mm -hmm. that he did. That he brought up. And he's not him. having it. Yeah. Because he could take down, you know, a Two-Face. He could take down a Joker. But he said, this guy, he said, I can't even take him down. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to do it anyways because yeah. I'm Batman. Because he's Ben Affleck. Yeah. That's the thing. Because Ben and Affleck like, can do anything. Exactly. So the Armageddon. Thing. Armageddon. <laughs> Batman can do anything. Well, I mean, Bruce Willis can do anything at that point. But Ben Affleck can be like, no, Bruce, don't do it. Shit, I grew two tears came down. One for Liv Tyler and one for that Aerosmith soundtrack. Like, that's how it went down. So the, the, the thing is that, like you said, you're not afraid of this movie. I am. Not like, anymore. No, not, at first, at, I said. After you saw the trailer? You're, you're saying? Like, after you saw the Yeah, because at first, I said uh, Man of Steel was okay. Yeah, like I said, better as a sci fi film, maybe, than a, like a comic book superhero thing. But after I saw the trailer, I was no longer afraid just because of my faith in the story that they're treating so well with Batman. Okay. I don't even know like what Superman's doing in the film. See, that's the thing. That's 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 one of the things that it's it's scaring me a lot because mm -hmm. you don't you they showed a lot of because they did the opposite in both trailers. The first the first trailer was more Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Like Superman's True. here. Superman's True. there. Flying Here's over here. The and then all of a sudden, down. boom, Batman here. But wait, there's Superman's over yeah. there. But in this trailer, it's a like lot Batman. Of Batman. It's like Batman is Alfred. here. Like Superman did this. But wait, Batman was there First too. First glimpse of like Wonder Woman. Exactly. But the thing is, the reason why I'm really scared of yeah. this movie, com coming from a comic book fan, yeah. the reason why I'm scared is because they. Zack Snyder, since he was the one who started off this DC parade yeah, against and they, against and Marvel, they, and they went behind him. They, yeah, they needed a front. They needed a Josh Whedon. Mm -hmm. Do uh, I yeah. think that Zack Snyder uh, is the most perfect director? I think he does nice visuals, and I think that's what they were banking on. I think was so. the ability I mean, to do visuals. I, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think Zack Snyder is. Joss Whedon's DC. No, but I also... But I think that's the... It, it's yeah. the best that it can go to. But here it is right now. I don't know if Josh Whedon's visuals stand up sometimes. And that's what I think he's been... He's been hit on mm -hmm. with the first Avengers film. I can't remember. Somebody was throwing shade at him mm -hmm. about, like, unnecessary camera twists in the Avengers and things like that. I thought for how much... How big that film was, cinematography was almost like an afterburner thought. Like, yeah. there was too many other things to do before we thought mm -hmm. about... You know who's the DP of this yeah. thing? You know which has which has play as mm -hmm. much as director does. You know it's not all the director saying mm -hmm. put the camera here. Yeah. It's his vision that the DP, you know, director of photography is bringing to life. But I don't know like 
Exactly. That was that was the only reason too. I was afraid was how the film's going to be again. That mm-hmm. Zach's still there. Yeah. That they didn't go with someone else. I was mm-hmm. surprised. Yeah. You know. And it's just and not only that. It's the fact that there's so many characters. 